Good morning everybody, DC here. It's the 28th of the 1st, 21. And um, as promised, here's my next uh, video. I've been held up a little bit because um, I'm, I'm waiting for a, a, a pulse modulator to come so as I can pulse a frequency through a, a magnet. And um, anyway, <clears throat> I'll explain more later on. Um, so the title, Magnetic Power, Ether Power Extraction. And that's eth Ether Power Extraction from a, from a magnet. And uh, what we've got on the board today is a magnet, which is a cube magnet. And we've got to north, oh, excuse me, north here on this face and south on the other face with the blotch wall in between. And what I've done with this magnet is uh, it's a neodymium mag magnet and I've drilled a hole directly through the magnet on the blotch wall. It's very difficult to drill because it's quite hard. But I did do it. I put a three millimeter hole through uh, at that point there. And after having drilled the hole through it, the idea is that I put a uh, 1.5 copper wire through with two bare ends uh, uh, inside, inside and obviously outside. Um, what I'm trying to say is uh, the copper wire goes through and there's a gap in the middle where I uh, create a spark. And the idea is that um, if you look through a se section or a side view through the magnet, north and south, the hole drills through and then the idea is just to pulse the blotch wall and to to bounce it like a drum or hit it like a drum with a, a spark. Uh, hope, hopefully what will happen then, <laughs> um, I, I've put a nail on the side, this is about a four inch nail with a, a copper winding on it, so it's a, a coil, and then uh, hopefully what happens is the strength of the magnet goes through the copper uh, through the steel nail and um, the there's a flow of potential through through the the, the, the anneal copper wire and um, so what we're doing basically is vibrating the, the blotch wall um, well that's it with sort of uh, on the, with the schematics and this is what we've got down on the bench. <clears throat> so here's, here's the magnet, the north side and the south side. That, if you can see it, there's the, the hole in the center, drill right through. It's a three millimeter hole. And here is, a, is just, it's a 1.5 ordinary, um, 1.5 wire, single single copper wire which goes through and that copper wire goes right the way through <clears throat> um, but there is a space in between so there's no connectivity through so there's no contact through there but as you can see I've got like a steel plate here and a steel plate there the idea here is that we're picking up on the blotch wall here and here so here's my four inch nail and if you can see it's got a winding round, round the nail and that, that uh, winding comes here and what I've done is um, I've connected the, the meter between the, one of the wires on the, on, the, on the coil round the nail and earth. I've got this wire here is an earth wire which goes to a clean earth. <clears throat> so there's nothing connected up here at this point. It, the, the magnet's just resting here on a, blo on a block of wood. So that there's no um, magnetic flux other than the, the standard magnetic flux that's coming out of the, the magnet. Right. Well, if you look at this now, the potential is about one volt, which is, which is quite nice. This is encouraging me this because where I'm measuring it from is the coil here. So it comes 
here to there and then what I've done is the other end of this coil here on the winding I've brought to here and then I've connected the, by a, this green connection to the copper plate and then it's just touching here on this uh, if you like wire that goes into the magnet on the on the blotch wall and we've got quite a nice reading off that I'm quite pleased with that now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this green wire off so this this green wire which connects to this plate there's no connection within the magnet there's no batteries in the magnet because I've just drilled an hole in it but when I disconnect you'll see the voltage drop off so there's voltage potential as the magnet's just standing there now it's just static there's you know there's, there's potential so now I'm going to disconnect the wire if I can carefully very carefully don't fall over and it fell over but can you see now the plates fell over so it's not connected there's not as much potential now if I connect this green wire without the plate up I'm going to just connect it straight straight to this blocks wall that's straight to the blocks wall <clears throat> the potentials jumped up again not quite as much it's, and it's only connected to a blocks wall there is another connection here which comes off this I've got um, one of these piezo um, spark high voltage spark things here and um, you know I'm just trying things out there <clears throat> the idea is that I'm, I'm, I'm putting a spark through, through the center the very center of the magnet and this is where I'm up to with my experiments so <clears throat> happy days it's uh, very very encouraging and what I want to do now is just to um, I just want to put a potential spark in in the center of the magnet in the center of the blocks wall in the center of um, the north and uh, south fields if you like so going back to the drawing in the schematics <clears throat> that's this is what we've got here so there's the the magnet and I'm just going to flash it there and obviously when when I flash it there with this piezo potential it must be about 30 40 maybe even 50,000 volts it shocks the magnet and shocks the um, the blotch wall so if I, if I look at this here now did you see it jump up then? I'll just do it once more. Do it again. Oh, not sure. So it jumps up. So if you can imagine that, um, if I pulse it a lot, you might be able to see that. Yeah, that's that's the idea. It's to just flash it. Okay, folks, that's where I'm at. Um, hopefully, by the end of February, I will have this little um, frequency generator and see what we can do. DC signing off. <laughs>